So the question is, an anesthetist orders a new attendant to bring the oxygen cylinder. He will ask the attendant to identify the correct cylinder by the following color code. Black cylinder with white shoulder, black cylinder with grey shoulder, white cylinder with black shoulders and grey cylinder with white shoulder. The answer is black cylinder with white shoulders. Let's first understand what is this cylinder. So the cylinder is basically a storage unit where you compress the entire gas that we need that is anesthetic or non-anesthetic gases into a particular storage unit and they are stored at very high pressure in order to they are what we mean to say is we are we compress them into see gas is very volatile it can be it is present everywhere and it can tra travel very easily so in order to make it may ensure that it you have a lot of gas in one small container we compress the whole thing into a small unit so we take this gas that is oxygen pure oxygen we compress the whole thing into one storage unit called as a cylinder and we keep it and under and this gas is usually under very high pressure now coming into the cylinder what we need to remember is the cylinder has a lot of a few parts so the parts of the cylinder are this is the valve through which the yoke that is y o k e of the ventilator is connected so that it, the gas can pass through the yoke into the ventilator and then the patient can inhale the gas second this is what is called as the shoulder and this vertical part that you see over here this is called as the body so depending upon the color of the body as well as the shoulder anesthetic and medical gases have been classified have been color coded into a specific way amongst that what we need to remember is oxygen is bl a black cylinder that means the body is black and the shoulder is white entotox that is a mixture of n2 and o2 has a blue color body with white color shoulders whereas nitrous oxide on the other hand n2o has only the entire cylinder that is the shoulders as well as the body is completely blue in color when it comes to cyclopropane it is orange in color carbon dioxide is actually a gray color cylinder okay air on the other hand is a gray color cylinder with white shoulders that is carbon and carbon dioxide and oxygen mixture this is what is air so this one would be a gray color cylinder with white shoulders okay then air over here you see this is gray color with white shoulders oxygen and carbon dioxide purely if you're not taking all the other impurities of the air out then it is a black color cylinder with gray color shoulders or white color shoulders then helium this is another important gas helium is brown in color whereas ethylene over here is purple in color now coming on to why when would you give a patient oxygen so the therapy indications of oxygen therapy are documented hypoxemia so that means the patient's oxygen level is low and what is this low oxygen level in the blood is the partial pressure of oxygen is less than 60 milli mm of hg or the saturation of oxygen is less than 90 percent this is why it was important that during covid that we had to give these patients oxygen therapy because it was observed that in since it was a respiratory failure, there was no exchange of gases taking place in the lungs and the oxygen saturation in the blood for the patient was dropping. Uh, second one is acute care situations in which hypoxemia is suspected. For example, status asthmaticus as well as ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. Third is severe trauma because the patient is unable to uh, voluntarily control his breathing in this position at the same time in head and neck fractures if the tongue falls back back onto the pharynx then the patient would be unable to breathe fourth of here is acute myocardial infarction and the last one is short-term th therapy that is post anesthesia recovery especially in patients who have been given conscious sedation of nitrous oxide there is displacement that occurs because of the nitrous oxide and that is the re that is called as dissociation hy diffusion hypoxia sorry and that is the reason why you give oxygen therapy in these patients an important thing that we need to remember about these oxygen cylinders is the pin index system this system was basically developed where the so every uh, gas that is every cylinder gas cylinder that is provided for anesthesia purposes has a particular number coding what is this number coding is 
you have this valve as i had told you which is attached to the shoulder of the cylinder so this valve it has two side knobs over here depending upon where the position of the knob is these are they form an arc and that is why it is called 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you have two valves from the machine yoke that are attached to each of these valves and if these valves do not fit that means it is the wrong yoke for the wrong cylinder okay now based on that air is comes under 1 and 5 oxygen is 2 and 5 nitrous oxide is 3 and 5 so fourth one is carbon dioxide which is 1 and 6 and endotox that is n2o and o2 is 